All right, good morning everyone. We're back here to start our next assignment and what we're going to be working on is to make a slab box. So we're going to move from working with our slabs where the clay is moist and wet and we've molded over um, a tube or a newspaper pouch to now we're going to cut out our pieces. We're going to wait until they're leather hot, hard and then we're going to go ahead and assemble them. So we're going to make a nice little slab box. You can choose to do a rectangle box or you can choose to do a heart shaped box. So I've got a couple patterns here. I'm going to show you how to cut out the pieces for them. And if you would decide or like to create your own pattern and your own shape box, you can do that as well. But I'm going to go with the two that I have here. I'm going to try and make this fairly quickly. I've made myself two rather large slabs for cutting out the pieces. So what we're going to do is basically start with the rectangle box. On the rectangle box, you've got three pieces. You've got a top bottom piece, you've got a long side piece, and you have short side piece. So what you're going to need to do is cut out two of each one. So you want to go ahead and make yourself a couple nice slabs or one large slab and then you want to lay them out on your board and try to figure and make sure that you're going to have enough room to cut out and use the best of your slab that you can. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just cut my knot here real quick. Just using a needle tool or a knife. Just trace the pattern and go ahead and cut those out. Try and cut them nice and clean when you're holding your needle tool or your knife. Try to hold it straight up and down so you get a nice straight edge on your cut, not something that's at an angle. All right, that's the top bottom piece done. Now we want two of the long sides. Two long sides done, now the short sides. Pretty simple so far. One more piece to go here. All right, so after you've cut out your pieces, the simplest, easiest way to do this is to get yourself a board. I've got one here, and I'm just going to lay down a piece of paper towel in between in case there's any junk left on the board, um, dried up clay from someone else. I'm going to peel up my outside pieces, and I'm going to go ahead and carefully lift up one of the top bottom pieces and place that on my board. And I'm going to see if the second one will fit. Looks like it will. I'm going to lay that on my board as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and put another paper towel in between so that my pieces won't stick together. And then I'm just going to continue layering the pieces with a paper towel in between so they don't stick until I have them all stacked on the board. All right, so those are done. So before we can actually go ahead and start assembling our box, we need these pieces to get leather hard. Leather hard is kind of the halfway dry point of the clay. So we don't want it wet to where it's real floppy and plastic, and we don't want it bone dry. So it's kind of right in between what we refer to as leather hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move this aside so that I can show you how to start the heart shaped box. Now what I will do with those, just so you know, is at the end of the day, um, after they've been out getting some air, drying a bit, I will slide them into a bag and I will close up the bag and I'll leave the air, a little air puffed up in the bag so that they can continue to dry a little bit, but I don't want them to get too dry. Um, and then once they're leather hard, I'll be back here to show you guys how to assemble it. So now the heart shaped box. 
And I'm not sure I have enough slab here, but I'm hoping it's going to be the proper amount to get all the pieces that I need. So just like the other one, I've got cardboard templates set up for you. I've got the heart shape. You'll need two of those, a top and a bottom. So I'm going to try and position these, hopefully the best that I can, um, and get everything out of this one slab. Then there's two pieces. There's a long and a short piece. The only difference is about a quarter of an inch in length on the longer one. And basically, that's going to be our sides for a heart-shaped box. And I'll show you how we set that up here in a minute. So I'm just going to hope that I can lay this out and get all the pieces cut out of here that I need. It looks like it's going to be close, but I think we can make it happen. So again, you're just going to go ahead and trace the cardboard pieces. Try to keep your tool straight up and down so you get a nice straight edge on your cuts. So that's the top and the bottom all cut out. You can set that aside. So now we need one long and one short piece. And I think I'm lucking out here that my slab's going to be the correct size. Won't have to go make more. Just barely. Got those all cut out. So now this is a little bit different than the other one. So the other one, all the sides of our box are going to be flat. So when it's flat, we can just basically stack all of them. Um, but this one, we've got some curved sides on our heart shape. So we're going to have to stack it just slightly different. And I'll show you that here. Let me finish cleaning this up and moving it. Okay, so we're going to get another board, just like the last one, and we're going to lay down a paper towel, and then we're going to put one of the heart shapes on top of it. So I'm going to carefully lift this up. Remember, your clay is soft, so at this point, if you pick it up and you're just kind of throwing it around or grabbing it, it's going to pick up your fingerprints, it's going to stretch, it's going to distort, and it's not going to look as nice as what it possibly can. So I'm going to lay a paper towel in between, again, so it doesn't stick. I'm going to carefully pick up the other heart-shaped piece, and I'm going to line it up on the first one as close as I can. If it's a little offset, it's not going to hurt it any. So I'm going to go ahead then and take the long piece first. I guess it doesn't matter which one you start with, but these are going to be the sides of our box, and so we have to curve them now. If we don't curve them now, then if they dry and get leather hard and we try and curve them, then we're, they're going to crack or break on us. So what we're going to do is stand it up and start with the edge here right at the center of the heart. And we're going to go ahead and stand that up and carefully curve it to follow the outside edge of the heart shape. Okay, I'm sorry, start at the tip, I should say, down here, and then go ahead and curve it to follow. And if you have any extra, in terms of length, it will go ahead and curve to the inside here. Okay, then start with your short piece and do the same thing. Line it up against the one down here on the tip and then just work to curve it to match the outside shape of the heart.
Now we're not cross-hatching or slipping this together, doing anything to assemble it at this point. We're only lining it up so that it gets the curve. We do not, <laughs> and I'll repeat this, we do not want to assemble this until these pieces have a chance to dry and get leather hard. So I should not see anybody cutting out their pieces and trying to assemble the box in the same day. It should just be that you're lining them up and mine are sticking a little bit because my clay is so nice and moist. And you're just lining them up in position, okay? Now this one, if I hold this up, you can see the long one will start at the tip down here and it will come around. The short one will butt up into it and then it will come around and it'll butt into this um, other one here, okay? So line them up the best you can. And then again, what I'm gonna do for today, since I'm here at school, I'm gonna leave them out and keep checking them each period. And um, if they become leather hard, then I will go ahead and bag them up. But uh, either way, at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and slide this carefully into a bag, tuck the bag under. I don't want it to dry out over the weekend or over the next day. Um, and then once it's leather hard, I'll be back to show you how to assemble the pieces. All right. So there you have it. Carefully place these up. Carefully bag them so you don't mess them up or lose the shape. And then, um, like I said, as soon as these are leather hard, I'll be back to show you guys how to assemble it. All right, hope you have a great day, great weekend. See you in the next video.